First, we have this tricolor and Trasciato leather coat for 16 grand. What? What the f That's different and weird. 5,200. My God. I'm sure it's for the right person, but for me, oh, that's gotta be a mistake. Okay, okay. I'll give them the, the benefit of the doubt. So Bottega Veneta recently dropped their pre-spring 2024 collection. So I'm gonna share my thoughts. First, we have this tricolor and Trasciato leather coat for 16 grand. What? What the fuck? Quite expensive and way out of my price range. But the colors, I don't know how that would look in person. I don't know. I don't really like the color combination of it. Mm, yeah, that's a no. It's leather skirt. If you want to save a few thousand bucks, here you go. Again, I don't. I'm not really a fan of that color scheme. Next, we have the small Jamelli. I'm not familiar. This is a newer style. I haven't seen it before. Thirty four hundred. It's quite slim, so you have to be careful on what you put in there. It has a top zipper, top handle. It looks like there's two little attachments here. Look at if you see that little divider down the middle. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, there we go. It's showing us better. So it's two attachments actually. I think that's quite cute. And it comes in three colors. This is the small size. Okay, black fondant, which is like a, a warm, warm dark brown, and then white. Doesn't look quite of a stark white, but it might be white. I don't know. And then there's the medium size for 700 more for 4100. I do love that green color. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So it looks like that top piece could actually be the handle of it, but I wonder if you can actually put something in that portion of it. Let's click this. Yes, it has a zipper, so you can put something in there too. That's Different and weird. Moving on. Mini cobble shoulder bag for 3800 It's cute. But for the price, they like really, really going crazy with these prices. Small cobble shoulder bag. This is a bigger version of the previous. 5200 My God. Their prices are like Chanel. It's crazy. Leather draped dress. I do love that. That's super classy. But for that price point, I just think you could find something else that's cheaper and get a similar look for six grand. Oh God, that's crazy. Hmm. $5,000! Silk mini dress for $3,900. I don't see anything special about it for that price. The mini Wallace. I do think this is a cute bag. I do think it's an okay price point for what it is compared to other brands in this style of bag. Hobo style. I think it's cute. Very cute. And chic. This, however. I really love this. It's the small getaway. It's also 3600 I love the structure of this. I love square structure. It's not too structured, but it is. it does have a little structure. It reminds me of my Valisette BB. And I feel like every brand has this style of bag, but Bottega hasn't really had one, but now they do. I love this gray color too, with the gold hardware. I think that's really nice. Also shoulder bag too. That's adjustable. Printed leather check shirt, 6400 That's crazy. Printed leather. And then it's printed leather. It's not even leather. Jersey jogger trousers for 6400 What is so special about them? It just look like trousers. Atomic boot, 1200 for a pair of socks that, looks, that look like boots. I'm sure it's for the right person, but for me, Okay, so rolled up, I don't like, but rolled down. Those are cute. I like them. Dominica boot, 4100 Why? That's like a $1,900 price jump. Jump. I don't understand why. Hell no. They tripping. Let me see. Like, that's a no. Now it says 1100 I'm lost. I'm so confused. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. We gotta go back. See, this one says 4100 That's gotta be a mistake. Okay, okay. I'll give them the, the benefit of the doubt. 2100 for this jumper. I mean, I think it's cute, but again, I think it's one of those pieces where you can find it. The same look for cheaper. I just think 2100 for a jumper is crazy. Printed leather striped shorts. No, 3200 Small Andiamo. I am not a fan of this checker print at all. It's like green and white. I just think it looks kind of like a tablecloth, you know, printed onto a leather bag. I don't really like it. Same with this. I don't like this color. I don't like the white against it. It looks a bit clownish, and that's the bigger size for 5100. This one is cute, the small east to west on the ambo. I do love the shape of it, the structure of it, and everything. Let's see this siren color, of course. That's cute, it's really cute, actually. 4500 though, it's crazy. <sighs> Back to where we were. There's the larger size there, 7,900. If you feel the east to west is not practical enough for you. Not mule. I'm not a fan. It's too short. It's too kitten. It's too like I'm on the deaconess board at my local Baptist church. I don't like it. And that's just the other color. It's crazy. I am a fan, but not 
on the heel. I just don't like the heel that short. It's a little too short for me. And then these straps look very much, it's giving very much mature, like too mature for me, not. So this is more like a clutch style. It does have a longer chain strap, as you see, 4,100 this one with a strap. And then it looks like this one doesn't have it for 3,800. It's not even an attachment like a hook attachment like this one has, the green one. No hooks on this one. So there's your price difference there. Wool tool jacket with nut buttons, 2,900. Looks like a blazer that you could find at Marshalls or somewhere. Pleated wool twill trousers. Now I am starting to um, love trousers. I don't like these though. I like the ones, if they have them, I'll show them to you. If they're not on here, I'll go on my Teresa because I saw them and I want them. I just think 2900 is a big stream for a, a, a jacket, but the trouser price 1200, okay, fine trousers you can wear so many different turns get your cosplay wear you know these knot sandals these are more my heel taste someone if you own these with the knot heel let me know in the comments i would love to know if they're comfortable how they compare to the other bottega heels i'm very curious because i really like these i love the gold ones too oh man yes yes also if you're enjoying this video be sure to like and subscribe i post every monday wednesday and friday shorts every single day it's totally free to do make sure to subscribe okay not pump i actually quite like these too they're a bit more classier and more girly and feminine than me but i actually really like them i do wish the toe was a square toe i just like that about bottega so many people don't like the square toe i love it okay long dress with chain detail that's cute very cute just not for 3600 textured satin long dress i like the uniqueness of it i just don't like the price toscana shearling crop blue sewn mm -mm. leather cloudy trousers no thank you i know i butchered that word you don't have to tell me <laughs> These earrings are cute. I'll be anxiously awaiting the Amazon version of these. I love how they have the teardrop at the front and at the back. I think that's very cute. For $17.50, I will wait for Amazon. I will wait. And they also come in zil silver, silver, silver. Drop bracelet. I will also wait for this to come on Amazon. Just for this price point, you know, I expect it not to be uh, costume jewelry. Just me. Leather short coat. Mm, that jumper. Mm, small gamelli. And this, I think I saw these already, right? Large gamelli. Maybe we didn't see the size. Okay. Mini east to west arco tote. Now this is really cute. Really, really cute. And I love the fact that it has a flap over so it's not wide open. And I love the colors that it comes in too. Like this mint color, this darker green and black. Longer strap. The entire thing is leather. Yes, that's what we pay these prices for. Well, me at least. Twist hoop earrings it's a little too small for my taste i do love this version i love the unique shape of these the twist triangle hoops i think those are cute i also love the colors those are very cute I do wish they're a bit bigger though y'all know i love my bigger bigger hoops i've heard great things about these orbit sneakers i think the yusuf's one of the sisters raved about these sneakers how comfortable they were they look comfortable and i think they're quite unique too price point for designer sneaker is to be expected in that price range andiamo there's the small one and the medium one mini sardines I love the sardine in general. I just don't like the price of what you're getting. 30, and I keep saying it, I'm sorry. <laughs> 3100 for that. I just think it's crazy. Especially when you think about the cassette bag that used to be under two grand. The medium sardine is more practical, but it's five grand plus tax. House to the wool gillet with label. Um, yeah, no. Wool trousers, I don't like those. Wool jacket, it's a nice jacket. Um, wool felt gillet coat. Mm -mm. The large hop. I think this is more like a structured Jody. Like if you don't like the roundness of the Jody at the bottom, here's a straight one. I like the Jody better. That's just me. Andiamo crossbody. That one has a flap over closure. It's not bad. Just not me. Okay, that's a really long one there. Wow. Okay. Wool twill trench. 4,600. I don't like this gillet at all. I love these hoops. Oh, but I will wait on Amazon. <laughs> I'm sorry because we know it's gonna happen. I love, I really love the gold ones. Gold, I prefer gold over silver, just in case you haven't noticed that already. Atomic pumps, I don't like these. Atomic pumps, these are more like Mary Jane style. Mary Jane's are in. Um, these are okay, just not anything I will buy. I don't like either one of these ready to wear pieces. These drop earrings though are very cute, very chic, just not for that price. Again, we will be waiting on Amazon to stock these mini hop small hop crabs wool jumper sardine hoop earrings those are a bit too small for my taste i do have small hoops like these but they're not designer you know they're like bobble bar kendra scott you know brands like that sardine earrings these are all right um, i would just be concerned about the weight i have really small ears if you haven't noticed um this metallic sardine is really cute well i was looking at that one but this is the one i'm talking about the metallic one tex mule mm. 
These are quite ugly, in my opinion. The text boots, however, are kind of cute. The ankle boots are okay. The H beam earrings, mm, they're all right. And then these H beams, I really like those. The not ankle boots, those are cute. I just wish the toe was pointier. I like either a pointy toe or a square toe. I don't really like round toe. I think that looks a bit dated, in my opinion. Not mule, I'm not really a fan. I like the thinner leather. I don't like the thick leather mules. I definitely don't like these shorter ones. These are the drop earrings, but they're like an updated version that has these little dots along the side. Sunglasses, the drop aviator sunglasses. Those are cute. Oh, those are cute. Wash denim jacket, Andiamo belt, coaxial belt, it's different. More Andiamos, more Gemellis, more drop earrings, cobblers, sardines, atomic ankle boots. Not a fan of none of this. That's different. Mm, no. So overall, it looks like I have some looking to do on Amazon <laughs> for some jewelry. The bags I can do without. I am, however, a fan of this coaxial belt. I think it's different if you want a luxury high-end belt, but you don't want a logo. This one's cute. I really like that. And it looks great with how the model has it styled. I don't need any of these ready to wear pieces. These glasses are cool. The aviator sunglasses. Um, I'm curious about those knot heels, knot sandals. Please let me know if you own those. About the comfort level. All of the earrings, or most of the earrings, I would like to check out. Especially these drop earrings. Those are nice. These concave hoop earrings are nice too. So I think they have some great pieces. Not much you know, not many bold colors. I mean, which is kind of strange because it's pre-spring, so I would expect some color. I feel like all these are very like dark and muted, which I guess is to be expected for pre-spring, but I would expect it more bolder colors. But with Motega, they don't often do bold colors like that anyway. Most of their bold colors are usually muted. That's kind of, you know, what they do. So let me know if you guys are interested in any of these pieces. If you already own some, if you have some on the way on your wish list, let me know down in the comments. And in case you missed my last video, be sure to check it out here. Talk soon.